you might all be surprised by lo having a look at this pic as to what relation it has got with the heart rate see it's the same thing if you consider this 6 meter of road as an ECG and the red boxes as a uh, single uh, complexes of piece ECG for example uh, the red boxes are R waves and uh, you can s you can count that there are six R waves or the six red boxes here in a total distance of six meter but we'll calculate only one red box and we'll divide it by the total distance so six meter is the total distance we are calculating only one red box okay we'll divide six meter by one the answer will be six six red boxes this is the same concept in calculating heart rate will uh, the distance will be the number of boxes either small boxes or big boxes in one minute and obviously we will calculate the distance between two R waves or two uh, P waves and we can land up upon the heart rate in a similar way this concept is totally related to the ECG the total distance divided by the individual distances so let's start that is a short review of that image mm, some concepts what uh, you should keep in your mind while calculating heart rate from ECG is that uh, the ECG paper travels at the rate of 25 millivolts per minute 25 millivolts per minute so and that makes up about 1500 small boxes in a minute and 300 big squares in a minute uh, we'll uh, look at this uh, uh, time uh, values here. The one small box is 0 0.04 seconds in duration. One big square, which is 5 mm, is 0 0.2 seconds in duration. So basically, we have to see how many small boxes or big squares are there in one minute. And when if we know that, and then we will have to see uh, measure the distance between two R waves will divide the total distance by the distance between the two R waves or two P waves for example if the heart rate is regular the P waves will show us the atrial rate the R waves will show the ventricular rate so we'll calculate the total number of boxes in one minute and we'll divide the boxes divide by the total number of boxes in between the two R waves it might have sounded complicated but it isn't just follow the following ECGs that three ECGs will be working on finding out the heart rate so this is the concept one minute has 60 seconds if you divide that by 0 0.04 that is the duration of one short box that comes around to be 1500 small boxes in one minute the same concept you apply to the big boxes or the big squares 60 seconds divided by 0 0.2 seconds it comes out to be 300 big squares and 300 big squares are the big boxes in one minute now we know that in one minute it is 1500 small boxes and 300 big boxes but we cannot calculate the whole R waves in those uh, 300 or 1500 boxes so we will calculate the boxes between two R waves and we'll divide 1500 or 300 by that number I'll show you the example. In first example, we'll be calculating heart rate by uh, using the 1500 small squares method. The concept still remains the same. It'll be very clear now. Okay, we'll zoom in, zoom, zoom into the CCG. Remember, the ECG machine is giving us a rate of 77 beats. Now, after zooming in, this is the uh, P wave. Yes, this one P wave. This one is also P wave. PP interval will give us atrial rate. And this is the R wave, R wave. The RR interval will give us the ventricular rate. This is very simple. The rhythm is regular. Then you can use either of these, either P waves or R waves. Now we'll count the boxes. There are one, two, three, four big boxes coming between two R waves. Yes, four big boxes. We zoom out now. The four big boxes also means that there are 20 small boxes, 20 small squares. And since we're talking about small squares, we'll use 1500 and we'll divide that number by 20. And that comes out to be 75, which is very pretty close to the number. We'll repeat this by uh, big boxes formula. Okay, we'll zoom in. This is the one small square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five. Five small squares in one big box. And here also we'll be calculating one. Uh, we'll be calculating big boxes. The number of big boxes between two R waves. That will be our equation here. One of the big box is hidden from you in this image. That's on the left side. You can calculate the rest of the big boxes that they are uh, five in number and plus one which is hidden from you that amounts to six we'll count it okay this is number two this is number three this is number four this is number five and this is number six now since this is big boxes we'll divide 300 by six and that comes out to be 50. So heart rate by big boxes method is coming 50 in this case and this is bradycardia the normal heartbeat is from 60 to 100 beats per minute and uh, okay this is an example of the big boxes the previous example was of the small boxes I hope you are carrying on till now and to make it very simple this review will we just left it one minute and this is the normal ECG how it looks like the P waves which denote the atria the mm, PP interval can be used in calculating heart rate this is the R wave which represents the ventricular rate the distance between two R waves uh, the PP interval and RR interval will be same if the rhythm is uh, if the uh, if the heart is beating in normal rhythm so you can take either of them in calculation if it is in the sinus rhythm there was just only uh, this part was just a short revision of how to calculate heart rate from ECG the concept is very simple uh, you can revise the first image you will never forget this and you can use 1500 or 300 as you may wish but I feel the 300 one is pretty easy is a small number and you can count the big boxes uh, way simpler as compared to counting uh, each individual small boxes so Please subscribe to us for more of such fast reviews. Thank you.